when it comes to celebrity memorabilia collectors. I remember, you know, I ran into um, Mick Jagger. There are those. I couldn't really count off the top of my head how many actual signatures I've amassed over the years. That are obsessed with the hunt to get a famous John Hancock. For me, it's sort of like um, a kaleidoscope of um, encounters with these celebrities. And then there are those collectors. Collecting autographs. Who are obsessed because famous signatures are their bread and butter. This is a Rolling Stones uh, band signed guitar. There's Mick Jagger and Ron Wood's signature and Charlie Watts. Brian Ulrich owns the Toronto-based signature library, a collection he guarantees is authentic, and he sells the autograph collections to charities and auctions. It's all thanks to his backstage access to the stars. I sold a um, Paul McCartney signed Hofner bass guitar in the five figures. I had Michael Jackson sign it in Los Angeles um, you know, just a few months before he passed away. I sold a Michael Jackson signed guitar with lyrics for six figures. So autographs like stocks or like gold have become a commodity. This collector says the economic crisis of the past few years has contributed to the value of iconic memorabilia. High-end collectibles have gone up, you know, by as much as 50%. The tip here, do your homework, watch out for those online fakes, and know your dealer's track record. As for whose signatures to collect, think about long-lasting value just like a stock investor would. I think they would appreciate that I actually have, I'm preserving and archiving and uh, treating their signatures as art. For others. I mean, uh, kind of kills me to have hoarded all these autographs. See the value in the mere pursuit.